Hey YouTube, this is Kylie. Um, yeah, I haven't done a video for a very long time since my, actually, I think my last one was my 11th month update. Um, since then, I've hit 12 months, 11 months, actually 12, 12 months, 13 months, 14 months, and now 15 months. So this is basically all those wrapped up in together and I might have to do another one because this might end up a bit too long. Um, what's happened since... 11 months, well, 12 months hit, um, I've been in a stall and I think that's what sort of frustrated me um, and I sort of started on a 12 month one with a, um, a photo thing but yeah, I don't know how to put music to it and all that sort of crap and it's like, it was just too hard and um, I sort of moved house um, and stuff like that and my life just got there and well, it's sitting there and one day you'll see it once I work it out but yeah, until then, oh well, I'll just keep doing these. Um, okay, so weight wise, um, and sorry guys, I'm doing this in the car because I'm living with my sister at the moment so trying to get a bit of time at home. Um, is a bit hard so um, I'm doing this while I'm waiting for my boss to unlock the building so yeah I might have to cut it and come back to it we'll see <laughs> but anyway um, so start weight was and I haven't got the pounds that's what I was going on about um, so start weight was 145 kilos um, my ever highest weight was 156 so and that was a few months before surgery and then surgery was 145 and now I'm sitting at 86.4 so that's about oh, 58.6 so I'm getting close to that 60 kilo mark so uh, that's getting really exciting so um, I just want to get into the 70s now that's my goal um, is to hit 70 79.9 kilos because these 80s have been doing my head in really bad um, I have a lot of loose skin um, I have seen a surgeon oh, I've seen the nurse and then I've got to go see the surgeon in a couple of weeks but I've got the problem where it's all hanging in the one spot so buying clothes has been really hard um, I'm about a 10, uh, 12 to 14 up the top um, but I'm still buying 16, 18s to get, get around me belly around the bottom um, my thighs are really bad and yeah, getting pants to fit those. So basically they're firm everywhere else and then around the waist there's, yeah, they really baggy. So um, I'm getting a bit frustrated trying to buy clothes at the moment. Um, since my last update we had a trip to Morton Island. Um, there was about 11 of us girls. We all went to um, Brisbane and then caught the ferry over. I uh, got to feed the dolphins. Um, had a go on the segways, which was um, a bit freaky, but you know, I think if we had more time, we sort of would get used to them. And then we did a um, for the, you know, the four wheel um, sort of what were they on the sand dunes with you know, yeah, RV sort of things. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, could have gone faster and and let it rip, but um, you could only go as fast as the person in front of you. So yeah. Um, Good old Peter um, held us back a little bit so we could let it rip a little bit. So, yeah, um, had a blast that week. Um, so we spent, I think, about five, four or five days at Morton Island and then an extra two or three days in Brisbane. So got some walking in, got some shopping in, a lot of drinking in. Um, I still managed to put on weight, but when I got home, I lost that within two to three days. So, um, yeah. It's pretty good with the sleeve. You've got to use it when you can. Um, I just wish I could do it normally. Um, and with that, I guess, for everyone that's coming up to your 12 months and all that sort of thing, you've got to work for it. Man, you got to keep, you got to work for it now. Um, you hit that honeymoon period of about seven months and then your body will not do what you want it to do. You have to get out there and work for it. All those little, oh, we'll just have this and we'll have that. A little snack here and a snack there. They're adding up. Um, you've got to really get your head around the whole thing and control what you're doing early on because um, you can eat a lot more further out. And um, those little sneaky things, the sugar, the bread, the pasta, um, they look so damn good. They still taste damn good. Um, appetite comes back. So, yeah. 
um, you just have to really get your head strong until you get to goal and maintain really got to keep going plugging at it and um, alcohol too um, I, I'm drinking um, Jim Beam and Diet Coke um, I'm trying not to do the fruit juices or the wine because they are full of sugar I can't drink wine anyway can't drink beer mm. I've always just drunk Jim Beam so and yes I'm a Diet Coke drinker oh well that was the only thing that I really haven't I mean I don't care about everything else yeah you sneak a bit here, something here or there but the Diet Coke yeah I still drink it let it go flat sometimes now I don't have to um, but I still can't scull it like I used to and have group, great big mouthfuls but yeah it doesn't affect my tummy at all it doesn't bloat me up or anything like that there's more room in my tummy now so you know and it's not stretched um, some days I have really good restriction and other days I feel like I need a horse yeah, so, oh, sorry horse <laughs> but anyway <laughs> um, so that then brings us to Alice Springs we went to um, me, Lisa and Belle went to Alice Springs to celebrate Amy's 35th birthday um, Amy the real me um, had a great time bloody freezing um, can't believe how much I feel cold nowadays um, so when you start losing the weight go buy jumpers thermals do what you have to do because it freezing um, yeah Lisa and I went up on a hot air balloon and it was brilliant once again froze my tits off but yeah it was fantastic had a great landing where we landed on the side of the basket but it was all controlled and yeah the, um, the pilot of the thing he knew what he was doing so yeah uh, it was just absolutely beautiful up there saw the sunrise um, saw some kangaroos while we were up there <laughs> And, um, yeah, so that was a fantastic thing. So, new NSV for me. And this is going to be funny, but this was an NSV for me going over. I decided to use the aeroplane toilet the very first time in my travelling career. Um, I have travelled to um, Thailand before, and it's like eight hours or something like that. I held on all that time because I was too scared I wasn't going to be able to fit in the toilet. So, I bit the bullet and I said to Lisa, I'm going in. <laughs> And it's still squishy at my my um my weight now, but so I would have hate to, hate to have done it at 156 kilos. I tell you, oh, I don't know if I would have got in there or got out. But um, yeah, you got to try these things, even if it's the dunny. <laughs> so um, yeah, had a blast in Alice Springs. Um, the locals, yeah, they smell, but they're locals. Um. Um, no, there's no surprise with the locals for me. Um, but yeah, apart from that, um, nothing much is happening. As I said, I'm seeing plastics. So I'm sort of um, at that point where I think I've got enough skin to bring me down into the 70s and I will probably be damn close to my goal, So, um, which is 70 kilos. Um, but I'm still going to the gym. Um very slack at that I go at least once a week because I have a PT session once a week but apart from that um, I've got to have bloods done because um, I do find that I'm not recovering as quick from the gym um, got a little bit of a cold at the moment thanks Alice Springs um, but apart from that works good um, life's good I'm building a house so hence why I've moved in with my sister I moved in once I left from Queensland so um, I'm hoping this weekend, or next, starting, so, so it's Wednesday today, so hopefully as of Monday, um, the first bit of soil will be dug, um, first deposit's been paid, and I'm all excited, so can't wait, can't wait, so um, be good to have my own house, and I'll show you guys through it once it's all set up and ready, um, and I might even do some little pics in between and post them as well, but I'm sure all you guys on Facebook will see it all, so, um, yeah. Um, I sort of got back into my baking a little bit. Um, I've applied for a reality TV show. Don't think I'll get there, but, you know, got to apply for it, got to do these sort of things, so um, I've got more energy and um, go to do it, so, yeah, might be able to pay me mortgage off if I win that, but got to get on the damn thing first, but, um, yeah, love my baking, so... Um, if you want, go onto Facebook and look for Kylie's Cooking Capers 
I just post what I cook and you know what I'm up to and that sort of thing with that so if you want to follow me you're most welcome to so um, yeah but anyway guys it's getting close to me needing to go into work um, I don't think the boss is here yet I haven't seen her pull up but um, yeah got to start at 8 um, no frost this morning I'm so excited so um, the last two days I've had to get the, the hose out on my car and um, scrape the ice off so it's been bloody freezing but um, anyway, life's good. Um, for Lisa, I've updated. And for Little Aussie Mel and Cass VSG, thanks for posting again. Um, I guess that's given me some inspiration to do these again and try and stay in track and on, you know, on the ball. So um, my boss is here. I'll catch you all later and um, have a good one and just keep doing what you're doing. Bye.